Greetings from Pristina, Kosovo. I just had what I will describe as probably the nicest cup of coffee I think I've ever had in my entire life. And now, with that, also met a cat, which I enjoyed. And now, we are going to try not to get killed as we cross this road and do a bit of exploring. It's my first day in Kosovo. And a lot of people said, don't go to Kosovo, something will happen. So, let's see if that's true. I hope something does happen. So far, so good. And there's something about, not everyone's gonna like this, but there is something about sitting in a smoky coffee shop, drinking an espresso of some description. I don't know what kind of coffee it was. It was very thick, but it was good. But yeah, smoky atmosphere in a coffee shop full of old men. That's how it should be. I just saw what I think were a bunch of German military officers. And I'll be honest with you, they didn't look like they were the cream of the crop. Not that I wanted to mess with them, but it's interesting, right? That's the thing as well, is that a lot of people who I've seen and I've spoken to so far have assumed first that I am German, not English. And certainly not Albanian or a Kosovo. Now, I don't know if that's fair, because I tell you what, almost every person that I've seen here, every man in his 60s here looks like my father. I've done that thing where I walk down every street that looks interesting and now I am lost. My directions to where I think I'm going are really simple. It's go to the roundabout, then turn right. <laughs> I just kept on walking down the streets, that looks interesting. We'll find it, we'll find it. The Association of Ex-Political Prisoners of Kosovo. You know, this really is one of those places I feel like that feel so normal and are absolutely perfectly normal in almost every single way. And then, the remnants of history just smack you in the face and you see something and you go oh yeah there was awful conflict here within living memory everybody that you see around here who's over 50 years old was involved in conflict what i'm looking for is the bazaar which is not the original bazaar where the original bazaar was God damn it, God damn it. Where well, the original bazaar was, was taken down in the 1950s because of a policy in Yugoslavia of get rid of everything old, tear down the old, build only new. So a lot of history got removed at that point, right? But there's a new bazaar, that's what I'm trying to bloody find. And it's also a memory of how Islamic or Muslim part of Kosovo certainly are, even though there's some Serbian orthodoxy here, but there's so much, in coffee and all that type of stuff, there's such a lot of Ottoman Empire remnants here because Kosovo was part of the Ottoman Empire for like 400 years, from the 1300s. There's a big statue of the guy who they say helped get Kosovo some independence. Here he is, old Jerzy. He showed the Ottomans what for. It's a pretty good sculpture. That's how I'd like to be remembered. But yeah, so I'm looking for this goddamn bazaar, I tell you. I'm getting hopeful. There are people selling vegetable plants on the street. Things are starting to look a bit more bizarre to me. Oh yeah, this is happening. I'm on the right track. <laughs> I'll find it. Wow. Am I bad at this? Well, I found the market, the Grand Bazaar. And from what I can see, it is not market day. <laughs> so, we might have to come back to this at another time. Because at the moment I'm walking around an abandoned market. Snooping around. Seeing what there is. I've just come in search of people's goods and wares. Oh geez, I'm lost. <laughs> well, with the market not quite as bustling as I'd hoped it was going to be, it's time for Pop in a Bar. That's right, Pop in a Bar. And what have we got today? Well, let's have a look. 
You see, two of the greatest things in the whole world are eating a chocolate bar and drinking a can of pop soda, whatever you call it. So, what I've done, or what I enjoy doing, is going places and finding things I've never seen or heard of and uh, selecting them. Today, from Kosovo, from Pristina, we have a cow milk bar and a bottle of Golden Eagle Energy Drink. <laughs> Let's try the cow milk bar first, eh? I like the character. Got 33% free. It's a triple. Jeez. It's a Milky Way, in it? All right. All right. Okay. All right. It's a strange nugget-filled chocolate bar, which I'll be honest with you, tastes odd. Not necessarily bad. But I wouldn't say, mmm, I'm in the mood for something nice, let's go get a cow milk bar. This is not a winning candy bar. Who am I kidding? At 1 a.m. in my hotel room, I will be eating the whole thing. Five out of 10 on the cow milk bar. Next, Golden Eagle Energy Drink. Jeez. There's a lot of tuna involved with the cow milk <laughs> Okay, let's try this golden eagle. It's Red Bull. <laughs> yep, that's a drink. Golden eagle energy drink tastes a bit like a weaker, sourer, Red Bull. I like the sour a bit. And I'm kind of glad it's weaker because I've got a, a whole bottle of it, but yeah, refreshing and delicious. I am dehydrated, so that's probably part of it. Golden Eagle Energy Drink. You get a 6 out of 10. So, first pop in a bar of Kosovo. There's only room to go up. Tastes like there was flowers involved somewhere, some line of the process, some line of production. Someone sprayed perfume into this. This is the Museum of Kosovo, I think. And what first brought my attention to it was this big old Gatling gun. I think. I don't know what it is. It's a weapon of some sort. <laughs> I wonder if the museum is open. Let us find out together. Trying to be quiet, I don't know if I'm meant to be filming, but a lot of the stuff in this museum isn't very old. You know? Like 30 years, 40 years old. Some of the military equipment was that old when they were using it, but it doesn't feel like it was a really long time ago. That is a very cool motorbike though. I keep on seeing this hat. I think it's called a police or a kalesh. It's a traditional Albanian hat. Of course, Kosovo being lots of Albanian heritage. So, as a mission I'm on, I must find myself a police so I can have the traditional hat. I think that's only right. So that was the Museum of Kosovo. I liked it. I wish there was somewhere for me to put five euros in because I'd like to give my support to the place. You know, five euros, but I couldn't find anywhere. I just think it's important places like that because, you know, the out with the old, in with the new thing that happened in Yugoslavia and then in Kosovo really did take away all that heritage, you know? Talk about out with the old, in with the new. You know when I said they tore the Grand Bazaar down? This is what they put instead. A big old statue, really ugly one. <laughs> it represents brotherhood and unity the uh, motto of the Yugoslavia, so that's what they put up instead. I kind of hate it, but it's got its own charm. It was eerie though in that museum, being the only one there. 
Felt like I was haunting the place. I shall call you Moon Pie. Hey Moon Pie. It's alright. Okay. You okay? Oh Moon Pie. You good boy. You good boy. I love you. I think I must have willed it into being because I wanted one of those hats and what do I find? A shop that I think sells them. Let's go find out. One police, please. Hello. Hello. Do you speak English? Little. <laughs> Little? Uh, please? Please. Please. Yes. But lie. Can I try? Which way? Oh. Ah. I'm, hold on. Okay. Hold on. I'm trashing the place. I'm sorry, young lady. Uh, uh. Good. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. Which way around does it go? Hold on. Sure. Yes. Good. I like it. How much? Five. Yes, please. I will take it. Thank you. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. One please, please. Success. I did trash the shop. <laughs> Moon pie, I found a hat. I found a hat. Moon Pie's not excited, Moon Pie's just having a sleep. I'm not convinced she thought I was handsome in it, but still. One person who would like to see me in a place, I'm sure, is Zahir over here. Zahir was a hero, as you can tell. He's a hero of Kosovo, and he fought, I think, it was before the Kosovo 78-day war. He was in the run-up to that that he fought and was killed by Yugoslavian soldiers which shows that a lot of people think the, the war was just those days during the actual 78 days but tensions rose and were up for decades before that and Zahir over there was part of the KLA the Kosovo Liberation Army as the Serbians would later call them the Usika and he was killed by Yugoslavian soldiers and is a hero for it. I think he'd be pleased with how Kosovo ended up and that his death wasn't in vain. I hope anyway. The thing with the police, the hat, is that a lot of the older Albanian people here think that that culture is going away, that people aren't wearing this the traditional hat. And it's probably true, however, they have started wearing them at football matches <laughs> as like a way to say we are Kosovo, we are Albania, you know, as a way to show support for their country during football matches. And in its own way, it's kind of taken on a new life like that. It's still a thing that represents Albania, and that represents Kosovo. Talk about football, it sounds like the chance of a football match. <laughs> Let's find out. Maybe I'll get to use my police. Oh my god, wouldn't that be good? I think that's I'm Pristina till I die. I'm Pristina till I die. I think I am. I know I am. I'm Pristina till I die. Football! It's a transcendent language. <laughs> All those football fans are not a police in sight. I feel wronged. Not a single police. Well, that's about it for my first day, my first video in Pristina, Kosovo. I'm here for a few more days. I'm gonna try and go on a few more adventures, but thank you for watching. And I appreciate you so much for being here. And yeah, hopefully see you soon. Lots more to come. Bye. Look at the size of those hands. No wonder. No wonder. <laughs>